Hi everyone, welcome to chapter number three, lead capturing. In this chapter, we will see the different ways you can capture leads and we will go over some of the monday.com board basics. If you don't work with leads and just work with deals, you can skip forward to deal management chapter in chapter five. All right, let's open up the Monday account. And before we start to go over uh, the workflow, I wanna show you some of the structure that we have on the board. So this is our leads board. As you can see, we have a group over here that contains um, the new leads. It, the board contains groups and we can always add more. So for example, I can add um, a new group, um, put it in the bottom and maybe call it um, leads in progress. I can then add another group in the bottom and maybe call it lost deals, maybe even change the color to red and this to orange or yellow is this is in progress now in this board um, every item basically represents a different lead and every item will have columns uh, so these are our building blocks where we actually manage the information um, about each item about each lead so what columns do we have here we have the people column which we called it the owner this is the owner of the lead i can simply assign the owner like this we have here a status column to indicate um, the status that i'm in the stage that i'm in we have here a button column which we will talk about later um, we have the email of the person the title where it's company is it from his phone number location and any other specific comments now the first thing you need to know um, about this leads board is how do we capture leads how do we bring leads in we have a few options first thing we can import from Excel um, like this we can just upload our Excel and the leads will get imported into this board secondly we can use our native integrations and applications you can check out all the native integrations that we have and maybe capture your leads from um, another platform using our open API and finally, you can use our monday.com forms. The form is one of our many, many views that we offer. And the form, the monday.com form allows you to capture information, to add items into your board from any um, outside source. Um, so you can basically create this form. In this form, you have here some settings um, uh, to basically customize it to your needs. You can add your own logo, you can change the colors, you can choose which columns, which questions will be hidden from the form, which questions are gonna be required, um, such as the company, the phone number, the location of the person, um, and so on. And once you're ready uh, to, sub to advertise this form, to publish it, you can, you can easily share the form via a shareable link or even embed it to your website. And once you have um, a lead that filled out this form, it will enter into your board very easily. Let's um, see a test. So let's say that someone fills out the form and they capture the name over here, puts the email address and so on. The company he's from, um, phone number, and so on and so forth. And once he submits the form, it will then enter into your board, into the main table. As you can see here, this is the lead that was filled out with all the relevant information. Now, Monday Forms really lets you convert a board into a form as we saw. It's a great way of collecting information from outside and bringing it automatically into the board. It's extremely useful as you guarantee that the client will fill out all the necessary information like we see in here. Now, once you have the form ready um, and a lead has been entered to your board, there is another feature that I want to show you, um, which is regarding duplicates. What happens if you have two leads on the same board with the same name or maybe the same email address? You can easily manage and merge those duplicates um, right from the board settings, um, more actions, and you have manage duplicates. You can search for um, duplications by different values. In my case, I searched by the name. And then I can simply merge the items 
and then the unnecessary item will disappear and merge be merged into my relevant item um, great so now that we talked about how to capture leads in your board join me into the next chapter where I will show you how to manage your leads using uh, our boards thank you